Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at uh, the Marcus Park by uh, Foxy No Tail. Uh, now I believe this is the you same YouTuber Foxy Two No Tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Two Tails Productions, where it was made by Foxy No Tail, who is a YouTuber uh, that specialises in Minecraft Bedrock. Uh, um, Content and he's done three, you know, like three third party add ons for year, ages now, like since before I even started doing reviews of them and I started doing reviews of them ages ago. Uh, but then I kind of got the most demotivated to do YouTube stuff, but that's another story. Um, so I want to have take a look at this and uh, compare how it uh, uh, stands up to the uh, uh, the texture pack he released, which uh, from my understanding, just similar things. I forgot to tidy up after the last review. I was like, oh, I need to try. Oh, I think to myself, oh, at the end of the last video, oh, I, I need to get tidied up after this review. So my, everything's not cluttered in the next review. But no, oh, hold on. Here it is. Hello, Lily. Yes, I love you too. Mwah. Aww. Yeah, I love you, but I gotta I got do the videos. I gotta tell the peoples about the... Oh, thank you. So. Uh, why did I... I don't know. There we go. Oh, and I still got that. Oh, uh, that's full. There we go. Anyway, so let's take a look here. So to craft it, you need three sticks and uh, any wool color. So one, two, three. Any wool? I'll just use white wool because I think that's the one I've got the most of. Craftable, and you have the marker. Uh, how to use place a marker by uh, clicking on a block, interact uh, with the marker to change its mode. So it has 11 modes. Biome spawns. So hold on, I'll go show this off up here. So here we go. So we let's go over here. So right now it's off. So it's got biome. So this, show, this will show you what biome you're in. Currently we're in the, uh, that's placed in the meadows biome. Ah, there's phantoms. Let's go sleep so the phantoms go away. Yep. Why? There we go. So it's gonna take me that many times to eat. I think Minecraft's not very happy because the more uh the more like uh add-ons you download, the more laggy it gets basically. I need to clear some out. Uh, yeah, but you can see how long it took for me to sleep anyway. So you have spawn spheres spheres. This is uh, set for simulation distance four. Which is the default for realms. So basically, how this works is within the green sphere, this is where hostile mobs cannot spawn because they'll be too close to you. Within the red sphere is where they can spawn if it's dark enough, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's how that looks about right. And you've got uh, chunk grid, so it's just so uh, just so you can show this one chunk. Then you got a three by three as well, which was uh, which is cool. And then it goes up to five by five, so you can uh, see. Oh, uh, it goes all the way up by the looks of it. Oh, <laughs> it does deload if you if you are far enough away from the. Marker itself, probably because it's an entity, and entities get, and that's when the entities get deloaded. Uh, 
then you have the compass so it so north that way east that way west that way and south that way and then there's distance measure so it'll tell you how far away from it you are so right now i am one block away because i'm still in this block and it goes two three four five six a year that's cool and there's day so uh, if you don't want the day counter in the top left corner, you can have this here, and then this will tell you how many days have been played. That's a bit wrong because uh, command sets time zero, time of day. So that's in ticks. And there's FPS counter. So I'm currently getting 100 to 200 FPS, 190. So yeah, hovering around about 190 FPS. That's actually pretty good. And there's coordinates, so this will tell you the exact coordinates of this uh, marker. And there's never coordinates, so it'll tell you what the coordinates would be for this block in the never. And there's a big red banner to let you know, make sure you know. And then there's spawn ranges. I'm not exactly sure what this one is. So let's see. So spawn spheres. Inner sphere shows where mobs will start spawning in the Ah. Outer sphere shows where mobs will despawn. Ah. So now I was wrong I was wrong about the first one. So the green one is where mobs can spawn. Red one is where the mobs start to despawn. I think this is different to the texture pack I released that basically required a banner and a armor stand. A trunk grid, compass, distance measure, days in game, time of day, frames per second, coordinates and no coordinates, spawn ranges. When they're placed directly on top of a monster spawner, the green box shows the overall area the mob spawner will spawn the mobs. Yes. So that so this will show show you so this green box is where the mob spawner would spawn mobs. And this red one is like out so I guess. Uh, I think what the red one is. So with mob spawners, they'll spawn in like this area. But then they won't spawn any more mobs if there's X amount of mobs in an area. And I think that's what this red one is. I think if the mo if the mobs that it spawns are in this red area, then it hits the limit and it won't spawn any more. But if they're outside of that area, then they'll continue spawning. I think that's what that is. The red sphere shows the range around the mob spawner. That the player must... Oh, no, that's the player that... Okay, so this is the area in which the player must stand for the mob spawn to activate. Now, you may be asking... You may be like, okay, this is cool, but why would you use this? And, well, there is multiple things you use this for, but it is mostly... Oh, that's awesome. Uh, it is mostly technical stuff. This is for mostly technical play, so... Biomes, so like certain farms can only be, be made in certain biomes. Like if you want to make a hoglin farm, I believe that needs to be made in the never waste biome, or I'm pretty sure. Or nah, or is it one of the warp? Is it the crimson? No, it's crimson fungus biome that it needs to be in. I'm pretty sure. So you use that to uh, uh, make sure the entire the entire farm, or at least most of the farm, is inside the right biome. Then you have spawn spheres, so that's for like making the, uh, this is to help you making it, making mob spawners. Chunk lines, so, so this will just be like if you're making a slime farm, and then you just like, okay, so I saw a slime spawn here, I'll place a marker there, and it's like, okay, so I know this is a slime chunk. So then you can use that to help you build a slime farm. Uh, compass, uh, this is actually uh, quite useful. If you're building uh, any uh, farm that, uh, uh, relies on uh, structure mob spawn and so witch farms and the uh, uh, pillager the uh, pillager outpost farms uh, for the ominous bottles they now they both rely on uh, uh, the direction because they they still spawn on the north 
East block, I think it is, or Northwest. It's name. It's clearly spawning on like the north something corner of the of a block. So you use this to find which way is north and west, and then you just okay. So that's so that is useful for farms, for building farms. Uh, distance measure. I I'm not exactly sure what you what you would use this for, but I'm sure somebody can come up with a good use for it. If you can think of a good use for it, put it down in the comment section below. And let me know and I'll part it or pin it or something. Let me just take a quick drink and I'll continue on. Days in game. That's just if you want to know how many days you have in game when you down like the uh, day counter in the top left. Uh, time of day. I'm not exactly sure what the time of day would be used for because it's in tick so it wouldn't, it's not really an aesthetic thing. So maybe that's uh, just outside of my, that is more technical and I'm just not uh, smart enough to understand why you want that. Um, for FPS, you want that just so you know, uh, so just so you know how, like, how much lag is being caused by a certain machine. Corners again, if you don't like the the position being in the top left, you can use this uh, instead, but I don't think it's a good replacement because it, it, I use it a lot for like when I'm making my mining shaft. I use it to know what Y level I'm at so I know, uh, so I can go to the correct Y level for stuff. But you could just, uh, let's see, well you can just like move it around, it's just a little bit more clumsy for that. And uh, then there's the nether coordinates, so uh, if you want to find where something is in the nether, uh, somewhere is in the nether, you just put it down, put it at the nether coordinates. This is good for like um, building a nether tunnels, because if you've got a base and you want to link your base up to a nether tunnel, uh, you can just put this down in your base and then get the, get the nether coordinates and go back to like spawn or whatever, go to the nether or get someone else to do it for you and then, then make a nether portal down in those coordinates. Because sometimes never portals can be a bit annoying with like linking to each other, so this is good. And then spawn ranges again. That's just good for like. Uh, so, uh, say I want to go into game mode one. Quick game mode one. So say you've found a uh, game at the spawn. Oh, I need poor mob. Mob spawn. Huh? So say you found three, uh, found four mob spawners. So say you found four mob spawners at uh, some, luckily, and you want to know how to, you know, what would be the best, if you can like activate them all at once, you do that. You just put one of these on, pin, The spawn range is on. And you go like, okay, so. This, uh, uh, and then you just need to find where they all intersect. So you can see that they all intersect here. So you can make your AFK spot here and then ha and then uh, find a way to like, uh, make the mob farm there or something. Like that. Uh. And that's basically why you want to use that. Uh, to find just you know making sure you're you're activating all your mob spawners uh, uh, in your AFK spot. So yeah, it is uh, quite useful for this is so yeah this is mostly a technical player's add-on. You if you're just like a casual player that uh, uh, doesn't really care about like automatic farms and the. the mob farms and stuff, you're not really going to get much out of this add-on. But if you are a technical player and you do like to make farms and stuff, then this is definitely a really good add-on for you because it's uh, simple to craft it and it, uh, it gives you all the information you need to make it the mob farms you want. So yeah, I hope you guys all did uh, enjoy this video. I hope this video uh, did help you out in deciding uh, whether or not you want to... Oh, I almost forgot to compare it to the... Uh... So, this is similar to what Foxy No Tail has released for free in the past. 
But the difference between this and this, well, obviously it's on the marketplace, so if you're on Switch or Xbox or PlayStation, uh, you can download this when you can download it before uh, from the from its uh, free website. But uh, and it does actually have uh, uh, some upsides said to compared to the uh, free one. Because in this you have the biome, and the, the, I think some of the. So you not only you have more. So you didn't have you had FPS, but. So that was only in the experimental as well as the uh, biome, if I remember correctly. So those were only in like the experimental one, and for that you'd have to activate experimental features, which could break your world, which was a downside of it. Distance wasn't in it. Uh, ta I can't remember if time of day was. Uh, the coordinates and never coordinates. I think they were spawn ranges were, if I remember correctly. So it does. Uh, so it uh, does give you the, like, uh, you know, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the features from the experimental version of it without having to be in experimental mode, which is a big positive in my opinion, because, uh, uh, you know, like I said, it can, uh, being in experimental mode can cause your worlds and cause problems. So, having it then be available without having to possibly corrupt your world is definitely a big positive in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye bye.